Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. In today's episode, we are finally taking down Plantera because we have to get her out of the way so that we can carry on with crafting all of the extra stuff that we need, like we need ectoplasm from the dungeon. And then to get that extra ectoplasm, you're going to need to kill Pantera. So, it's on the hit list for today. And uh, now that I've done my nice, quirky, fun little intro, I'm going to tell you the harsh realities of today. Because today has sucked. So, uh, I came on earlier today. So, I came on a few hours ago to record this episode. And I was really excited to. So, I started the episode by, you know, talking about how we're going to build this stadium. And then I went ahead and built it. And I realized... Okay, so that took 20 minutes, and I was like, fine, we, we had to build the stadium, it takes 20 minutes. I was like, we'll cut it, we don't need it. So, then I was like, right, we have to get a plantera bulb. So, to get a plantera bulb, you just need to naturally find one, and they spawn every five minutes. Five to seven minutes they should spawn, right? I want you to have a little guess how long it took of flying around the jungle... For me to get a plantera bulb. This is like a genuine guess. Don't worry. I'm, I'm mad at Terraria. Not you guys. I'm, I've got a horrible tone. I swear. Um, it'll get better in a second. So have a little guess. Okay. Are you done guessing? Right. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours it took to get a plantera bulb. Three hours. I am not even joking you. Three bloody hours to get a plantera bulb. That shouldn't happen. It should be every seven minutes they spawn, and you can have more than one in a world. You can have up to 15. By that logic, I should have had God knows how many, like 12 by now? 12. And I'm not even kidding, like, I spent my time on this. So, today's episode is, like, with proper love. So, if I don't sound super buzzed when we finish Plantera, and uh, I feel a little bit tired today. I I'm sorry. I'm mad at Terraria. I, uh, I, I can't hide it. <laughs> but, you know, it really does burn you out when you when you want to do something, when you just want to kill Plantera, and you uh, you have to wait three hours to do it. It's Terraria's way of artificially inflating the game's length. And I love Terraria, you guys know, because there's no way you can play every day for, like, five years without loving the game. But let me tell you, man, that does burn you out. It really does burn you out. But I'm really excited because we can barely do it now. And as you can see, I never included any of that in the video because I didn't want to bog it down. I wanted to make a, a cool 20-minute video, you know, a cool episode. So we have a cool episode now. It's all it's out of the way now. So it's in the past. I can forget about it. I'll have a little sleep tonight, wake up, feel super refreshed, get back to Terraria in the morning. Right. So what I'm doing now, by the way, is I'm digging to my Plantera bulb because I died at my Plantera bulb. Because I was looking on the map, thinking of a way to uh, to navigate from the Plantera bulb to the stadium. Because it's quite a distance, actually. It's like a surprisingly large distance. Right, I'm going to need some food right now. And I'm going to go to here. So we actually have a path for it now. I'm going to make sure that I follow this path. I do need to heal up, though, before we do this. It's going to be hard to heal as well. Because, well, we have one regen and it gives five minutes worth. I don't want to mess with it. I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I've been, uh, like I said, I've been exploring most of the stuff we can scrap because I've got three hours worth of materials here. So, well, not in my inventory. I've been, I've been putting them back in my chest at home. So we got a dodge then, which is nice. That's going to help with uh, thing in, with recharging. Oh no, the bees! The bees! We need to keep our health up. Tell you what, I have a heart lantern here, so we're going to slap this down. This little heart lantern. I'm going to stand here, and we are going to regen up. We're going to get nice and strong, and then we can do it. I'm excited to actually get this fight out of the way. I really, really am. It should be, as long as we don't get caught on the way to the battle arena, which shouldn't really happen, we should be completely fine. Because uh, I've done this fight God knows how many times, so uh, I feel confident in it. You know what I mean? I feel confident that I can do it. So we have regen from standing. We have regen from the cooked food, and then we have regen from the lantern. You know what? We're doing pretty fast. I mean, it gets faster, doesn't it, as you go along? We could do with one of those things from Gollum. Do you know the uh, like the healing stone or whatever it's called? Do you know where you put it on and then it just quickly heals you, then you take it off, and then it stops healing you? We could really do with one of those right now. But, okay, we're almost there. So I think that's good enough. So I'm going to take my heart lantern, smash this. And we'll get going. I've been uh, stacking all my gold away, by the way. 
So uh, we won't have another problem like we did uh, yesterday, losing all the gold. And don't you worry, guys, I have turned off Prepare to Die Edition, which we left on yesterday. Which caused us to lose the fight. So you don't want to move too fast from uh, Plantera, otherwise you can basically balk the fight. And it's happened in a series before. It's not It's not a new thing. Okay. Right, got to remember the path. So the path is up here. Yeah, I've just got to make sure I don't mess this fight up. Because if I lose three hours worth of Plantera hunting, I will probably not get over it for a long time. I will moan. I'll nerd rage. <laughs> oh, this looks good, though. This looks good. We're not doing it too fast. As long as I can always see her. There you go. I can see her now. Okay, we're going to go on this rail, because this is the rail I used a lot when I was looking for the bulb. Okay, it's there. The good thing is, our dodge is actually getting rid of a lot of these shots. Okay, I'm just moving up and down at this point, just trying to uh, get to move a bit faster. We just got to dodge them. Come on, Plantera. All right, you're getting a bit too close now. So we'll move a little bit away. And this is taking a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> this is a bit mad, guys. I'm sorry for the wait on this one. Okay. All right, she's getting faster. All right, don't want to move too fast, like I said. Okay, you're almost here, Plantera. Please don't mess up now. Please don't mess up. Or I'm sure I'll have to invent a series of raging moments. And this will be number one. Top five ragiest Terraria moments. I can see it now. Okay, we're in the arena. Gonna buff up. Turn off my mini map. Gonna get going on this. So, we want to be cycling this thing around so that the spiky balls are actually doing good stuff. You move pretty fast, don't you, Plantera? I always forget how fast it actually moves in expert mode. It's actually pretty fast. And considering I've not spent the time in making, like, all the uh, celestial stuff, the celestial shell and all that blahness, uh, I have not done great accessories here. All my accessories, although limiting the art, are actually menacing. But I've had all of them since pre-hard mode. So uh, that's probably not good. Other than the uh, the counter cloak, which you got yesterday, or the counter scarf, which is really awesome. Alright, we're uh, at the halfway point almost. I'm getting down with the spiky balls too much. That's not good. That's bad stadium design in my behalf, admittedly. So I'm going to peel up here. And we're going to keep this going. I'm going to keep it going. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, don't mess this up, James. Don't mess it up. Hey, if it messes up, today's episode is legit cancelled. All right, okay, got to be a little bit more careful with my uh, health here. We are low on health. Do have some more heals, but I'm getting free health all the way through this fight, so, I mean, I can't complain too much about health. Okay, we've got 26 seconds left on healing. No, I'm messing this up. I'm messing this up. Try and remain calm. Just move away a little bit. Get the hook on that. Come on, are we going to die or is it going to die? All right, so I actually just walked back to the uh, to the arena. I cut out the little bit where I was kind of being like, so I lost the fight, and then I cut out the bit where I was kind of raging a little bit because, to be honest, it was my fault because I just wasn't moving properly. But I have literally walked back, and one is right here. Like, not going to lie, having spent three hours trying to get one and then getting a second one like this, it actually feels pretty satisfying, but it's stupid. It's one of these, like, can you believe it? He, uh, he spent three hours, you know, killed it. Five minutes later, new one. Right, okay. We're going to do it this time. I uh, I felt stupid be losing to it the first time. I grabbed some more potions. I walked straight back. I said, I'm going to make a great episode today. That's why I thought to myself. I thought, I'm going to make a great episode. So I'm going to go back and do it again. And then that's actually legitimately... Like, I'm not even kidding. That sounds cliche as all hell. But that's, you know, that's exactly what I thought. I thought, I'm going to make a better episode. And I'm going to go and do it again. I'm going to spend three hours again looking for a bulb. And then the game was nice. I think it liked my commitment. It liked my commitment to the cause. We could be using uh, better weapons for this. You know what? I'm going to try this. Wow. That weapon just wrecks everything, doesn't it? It really does wreck everything, this weapon. I mean, Calamitous completely knocked that one out of the water. Plantera, it's going to knock you out of the water too. 
Right, I don't have that Omni Swinger module recommended. The only reason I didn't install it is because I know I would only use it for this weapon, and we're only going to use this weapon for a short time. But uh, I appreciate you all leaving comments on it, though, because uh, my fingers really did hurt after that episode. But uh, I appreciate you all being uh, cool about it and let me know about a cool mod. But yeah, I'm not going to install it just for that reason. But I just should address it because I really appreciated the comments, so. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. You just need to walk straight into my trap, buddy. My weapons trap. All right, there we go. <laughs> right, it's done. Right, I can uh, cut out all the moaning I did for definite. And uh, yeah, so there we go. We did Plantera. It feels awesome to have finally done it. Oh, that's where you get the living shards from. Oh, so we need to kill Plantera more. Nope. <laughs> Not doing that. Got a pet sapling there. That's actually a pretty rare thing. And a fawn hook as well. Is a fawn hook in the base game? Or is that a calamitous thing? Oh, it's a calamitous thing. Uh, it's a base game thing. All right, cool. Living shard. Right, let's go and do... You know what? I'm going to do this now because I, uh, cause I have the time. I'm going to go do Gollum. Should I do Gollum? See, I love doing Gollum after Plantera. Just smashing them out one by one. But uh, people didn't want me to rush it. But Gollum is such a weak enemy that it doesn't really matter. He is pretty weak. Admittedly. But uh, saying that, you know me, I'll probably still lose. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I should have uh, looted that chest. Because I know there was a, a cell in that chest. I left it on purpose. Right, but we'll find other chests on the way. There was one of them. There's another one. Alright, here's one. We'll loot this one. This should have one in. Okay, this has a cell. Alright, we're almost near the end of this. Because you, uh, you can see it on my little mini-map. Okay, we're just running through this now. Right, awesome. Come on, Gollum. Probably turn that off. I've got confusion on right now. I've got slowdown. I've got weakness. I've got Feral's Bite, which is for another four seconds. It's a bit annoying. And we've got low health just in general. So, gotta be careful about this one. Okay, we're gonna just, we're, we're just do this as much as we can. If we lose, we lose. Okay, gonna heal up. I don't have any healing stations in here, so if we lose this, we actually just literally lose. Okay. All I'm doing right now is just trying my best. There we go. Okay, cool. See, you know what I mean? Gollum sucks. <laughs> Gollum needs uh, fixing itself as well. So, Gollum is done. We have a, a shiny stone, some intense heat stuff. Whew. Okay, good. I can breathe again. Right, so, living shards. That's what I'm most interested in about. So, we're going to have a look at some crafting recipes now. So, living shards. What are you all about? So you make the Terra Flamethrower, which looks amazing. Terra Lance, you look amazing too. The Brimlash, we see, we see, we saw this the other day, didn't we? Terra Ray, oh, that's cool. The Night Ray, oh, you guys know I love the Night Ray. We used it so much. If I get a Shadow Beam staff, I'm making the Terra Ray. Fives a beam of life energy that can split into additional beams. Oh, I love it. True Ark of Ancients. You know I've got to make that one as well. And the True Biome Blade. You only need Ectoplasm? Oh, dude, we're making this today. We're making the True Biome Blade. You guys know I love the Biome Blade. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to smart stack this stuff away. Right, I'm going to quickly do that. And I'm going to smart stack it. As you can see, it's done a lot. It's got rid of a lot of stuff. So... When I come back later, and I don't know where certain things are because I've smart stacked them, I don't want you guys to be too upset at me because it's just because it randomly assigns a place for them. So our dungeon is that way, right? Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. Have I got any battle potions? I have loads of potions made, but I'd, I wouldn't make battle potions. I'd have to get them like... Yeah, okay. All right, I just have to find them. You know what? I'll take some potions with me as well. So, uh... Shine... Regen, Swiftness, Thorns, Iron Skin. I'll take Life Force. I'll take Endurance. And I'll take Iron Skin. Thank you once again to the Auto Fisher. You have been making potions on this series so easy. I love it. I love it. Auto Fisher and a few basic herbs. 
Like, go such a long way in Terraria. Okay, right, run away. I'm so happy we finally beat Plantera. I can go back to being happy. Oh, yeah, you know, my mood today will still be kind of ruined by it. But yeah, Terraria is it's full of loads of little things like that. Things that are just a little bit unbalanced in some little ways. That just need a little bit of tweaking to make the game a little bit better. Just certain little things. Just little nitpicks. But I love Terraria. That's what... Terraria is such a sandbox game. That's what I like about it. It's so unique. Okay. Don't annoy these lot. Get out of there. You know what? I forget that you can actually do the cultist at that point. That, like, blows my mind. Because once you've done them, Solar Pillars, Moon Lord. You know what I mean? That's just mad. I don't want to jump into it that fast. Okay, don't know if this place is going to have additional enemies, you know. Ecto Blood. Calamity mod. Right, we'll have a look at the Ecto Blood tomorrow, by the way. Just uh, in case I don't do it today. I'll definitely have a look at it tomorrow, though. I don't want to make... I just don't want to make any promises that I'm going to look at all the crafting recipes today. We, we just unlocked a bunch, so... I don't want to ruin anything. We're looking for uh, Ectoplasm, as you guys know. We only need five of it. And Ectoplasm is like most of these crafting recipes, I swear. Alright, Bonely, you are actually really strong, aren't you? Okay, that's our first piece of Ectoplasm. Well, that's two. Okay, two from that guy. We're going to have to come back tomorrow as well get some more Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is used in all of the core uh, items. So, like, core of Cinder, core of Chaos, core of... Uh, Calamity, I probably imagine, and then core of the ice one. So, we have to make sure we come back for that. I'm going to need to, because ectoplasm could take a while. It's, it's all I, that's all I mean. Alright, you can drop from any enemy though, can't you, ectoplasm? Like, it just, you just need a spirit, right? To drop from them, and then you kill the spirit. Man, I love hard mode dungeon. I think it's a cool place. I think it's a really cool place. Tactical Skeleton. Right, let's see. I'd probably be better. I'd probably be faster. Oh, I might have the chance to get the Shadow Bean Staff here. Right, you drop the Shadow Bean Staff. I was so lucky in one series and got it straight away from the first kill. But not that time. That's okay. Right, what was that noise? Rot, that rot noise. Okay, got another one of these guys. I get rid of these the second I see them. Wrath of the Ancients. Now that sounds weirdly familiar. Is that a weapon or is it a thing? I'm going to look in a minute. I've probably picked up lots of stuff here, by the way, and not noticed, so don't worry about that. I will notice in good time. It's just the curse of a recording. You pick stuff up and don't notice. And then people tell you about it in the comments for months. <laughs> no, it's because, uh, like, for example, say, like, people don't know you're going to do it in the next episode, so you people watch the older episodes, you know, a year later, and you'll... Sometimes I get emails on a... And people talking about my old series from like two years ago and they'll email me and go, oh, so I just want to let you know in episode 30 of your uh, original 1.1 series, you missed out this. Or in uh, 1.2, you missed out the Queen Bee. You said it had 5,000 health when it has 4,000. There's something like that. I love it. I like the commitment. I think the commitment's really cool. Trari fans are very passionate on their knowledge. I like that. Wrath of the Ancients. Grass a granite pulse near the mouse cursor that can cause granite pulse to outwards. Oh, that's clever. So you... Can you do it out here? Oh, wow. For a non-made shell, that's actually really good as well. A key brand. So we picked up a key, a key brand. We have the ectoplasm. So let's open this up. Just want to make sure I was right on this. So... Biome blade. Yes, you only need five! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see it. Okay, let's go back to the house. Let's go back. Like I said, we'll come back tomorrow, though. Wow. I can't wait. I love the biome blade. You guys know I used it for, like, I don't know, like, ten episodes? Where's my biome blade? It's going to be around here somewhere. Like I say, everything's a little bit jumbled. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Where's the biome blade at? It'll be around here somewhere. Don't you guys worry. I didn't trade it in or anything. Bulky Biome Blade. So you need the Living Shards. Which I don't know where they are, do I? Okay, they're the ones that I don't know where they are. So, we're going to look. Okay, not there. Not there. There. Are you guys ready? True Biome Blade. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. 
Pointy true biome blade. 171 melee damage. Yes. This is so cool. I love the biome blade. And it's auto swing now. Oh my god. I want to do a boss. I want to... Oh, I have a boss. Come here. I have a boss in my inventory. Let me go get this boss because I have... Because remember, I used to make two boss summons because I always thought I'd lose the first one. And then there's a few that I didn't do it on. So where is... I've got a boss summon in here. Not in that one. Not in that one. In that one? Uh, summons the Brain Eater. Yeah, the Hive Mind. Bring on the Hive Mind, boy. Let's do this. I'm so excited. You guys know I just love the Biome Blade. Come on, Hive Mind. Where you at, son? Remember how much trouble I had with him at the start? Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> Oh, it makes me so happy. Right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Sorry about the negativity in the middle. I actually really apologize about it. I just, I just had a rough day with that. And, uh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Right, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.